It is a story often told, but still hard for many to grasp. The journey of migrants attempting to cross the border into South Texas in unforgiving terrain. August has been an especially deadly month. The Brooks County Sheriff tells us they have recovered 78 migrant bodies this year. A 200% increase, 13 since last Sunday. Now there's a documentary, Missing in Brooks County. There is a free outdoor screening tomorrow evening at the Inn on the Riverwalk. Our Jesse DeGoyado now with a preview. The Border Patrol Station is making these people walk in that deep sand with very little water. Stunned by so many of their bodies being found. He used to get to me. So now it kind of, you know, I say we, we don't call them people anymore, we call them bodies. Filmmakers spent almost five years documenting those who find them. An illegal alien crosser is an illegal alien crosser. Others tracking down the people out there still trying. This is the South Texas Human Rights Center. And those dedicated to helping them any way they can. But above all, it's really about the families. The film shows the agonizing search by a family looking for their loved one who'd spent most of his life in Houston. Omero Roman had tried coming back after being deported when he got a traffic ticket. My brother tried his hardest to get accustomed to life over there, but life is just not the same without your family. That was a number of years ago already, and um, they have no idea what happened to him. I mean, he went missing in Brooks County. That's the last he was heard from. In spite of what a Brooks County dispatcher told them. There's been a lot of, a lot of missing people. You know, they won't ever give up looking. Sadder still, she says. More people are coming. More people are dying. Jesse de Goyado, KSAT 12 News. That documentary will also be shown in Brooks County later on this month. We have more information on the film and the upcoming screenings of Missing in Brooks County on our website at ksat.com.